Hello everybody, it's Chris again, and yes, I'm doing two videos in a row, because if I don't, then I'm gonna freaking freak out about this. Now today, we're gonna be talking about something else, something you probably said, and I probably know, and I'm, oh gosh, I'm talking way too fast, and I'm talking, I'm probably nervous, oh gosh. Anyways, um, my hair is atrocious, again, still, I know, I just swept it to the side right now from the old video, but you know what, it's fine. So, what movie am I reviewing today? I am reviewing Venom. Venom. Now... Warning, I missed a lot of scenes. Why? I have a little sister, and it was uh, very shown and clear that she, I believe she has something wrong with her ear. She's very sensitive, and she had anxiety, and she kept wanting to go to the bathroom just to escape the movie theater. And I really hate missing scenes, but I needed to be a big sister. And I managed to calm her down during the last moments of the movie. Now, anyways, going back to the movie and from what I heard from my friends of the scenes that I missed. Now, I'm going to start ranking movies from a 5 scale. I'm not going to go to 1 to 10. I'm going to go to a 5. Now, this movie, I'm going to give it a 4.5. Now, this movie, I thought, would be a little bit more scary. Well, my sister was. She found it scary. But... It was actually much more entertaining than I expected. A lot of people actually had low expectations of this movie. And as soon as they saw it, they had high and beautiful expectations of it. They actually very much enjoyed it. And I would actually watch it again. Not just to see the scenes that I didn't see, but just to saw, see the movie in general. Now, if you don't know what Venom is, well, then you're probably not watching this video. But... Venom, of course, is an anti-hero or a villain. I'm not 100% sure. But Venom has been introduced in the Spider-Man Spider franchise a bunch of times. From the original Spider-Man movies to the Spider-Man cartoons. Eddie is still the name of the person that is holding Venom inside. Or rather, in a partnership with Venom. Um, also, warning, there are spoilers in here, so... I'm just telling you right now, there is spoilers in here. Um, so from what I gather about what I saw from Venom, it did have a bit of a scary aspect, and it had it in different definitions of a term. The scary of how Venom is, and scary about how the world is. We see a lot of things about the villain, who is trying to change the world for the better, trying to get stuff moving. And a lot of enterprises and a lot of research labs are indeed trying to get us to evolve into a better state for the future. However, the negative and villainous parts of what is shown in the movie is shown that they start doing it in any manner. From getting homeless people to just, yeah, basically homeless people. And it starts to wonder what exactly we're doing right now to test them. Now, I'm not saying that a lot of franchises, manufacturers, research labs are doing these things on people. Because no, I'm not saying that and I do not want to endorse that. What I'm saying is that right now we're still going through stages. And I don't know what they do in those labs. But it is scary to see as we see in multiple movies, how much humanity has agreed for wanting to evolve to a better species, a better humanization, an increase in health and immunity. Now, I'm not necessarily saying a bad thing about that. It's great if we evolve to a better thing. However, there are going to be times where we are going to make things that we expect to help us but are not. And it is indeed a scary aspect shown in this movie. Now besides that and going into reality, I wanted to talk about the good things about this movie that are not scary or physiological. Now, Eddie did fuck up. <laughs> Eddie did fuck up with what he did with his fiance, And it's sad that they're not together. However, he did fuck up. Um, I liked the chemistry between Venom and Eddie. It was actually very humorous. It made me laugh a lot of times, and it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, nor was Venom. In fact, it was just something I would actually hear two people talking about, well, besides the whole eating a person, because then that would raise alarms of cannibalism, but no. 
Um, and then there's the music aspect of it. And I just, I fell in love with the ending music, which is Eminem's Venom, and I freaking love it. Um, I, I jumped the gun and said it was, like, my favorite Eminem, but it, it's not. Um, but it's really good. Um, besides that, there's the action, and the action in it is just a huge part of it. And I actually really like that. Humor actually outdid the action in this movie and that's saying something but not only that but the effects between the fighting scene the last fighting scene between both of the specimens interacting with each other fighting each other trying to like get each other out of their hostess body was just so artistic and so animated that i absolutely loved it and finally the the, the second to last this is well there's two last things the ending scene of it was perfect. Stan Lee, knowing who he is and what's going on with him, that was perfect as well. That was kind of like a fourth wall break in between. And then the last scene, the scene that's after the credits, because you know Marvel always has those scenes after the credits, about Carnage showing that this has happened before and showing that there's going to be another thing that's going to involve Carnage. It's just amazing and I can't wait for that. And that's basically all I have to say about Venom. And I would honestly see that again. And I think there's more stuff, maybe? Hmm. Let me retract myself a bit before I say bye. Um, alright. I really hope... It seems like the evil thing kills everybody they don't like. So that girl's dead. And stuff like that. Duh. That's actually a bummer. Um, but then, um, hopefully he didn't kill the dog, because if he killed the dog, oh god. Um, but yeah, the fact that it's another thing that we always say that there's species, there's another life in outer space, is addressed in this heavily. And it's just something we're still kind of on the fence about, and something we're still unknown about. But that's anyways everything I had to say about Venom. And I actually do advise you guys to go watch it and enjoy it the best that you can. So that's all. Thank you guys again for watching this or not watching this. And I hope I see all you beautiful, unique, weird, and great people next time. All right?